Hi, welcome to Cycling Vancouver. My name is Steve. I'm a 56 year old guy, six foot five, around 240 pounds, who enjoys cycling around the city when it's dry. A rare and unusual event as of late. If you're interested in seeing what Vancouver looks like from the back of a road bike ridden by some old dude, sit back and relax. This is Ride 140. When I started this ride around 1245, the temperature was about six degrees Celsius and there's a significant wind out of the west. It's cold. I'm wearing five shirts and heavy wool socks and it won't be long before my feet are frozen. Today is a mix of sun and cloud. It has been raining steadily for the last few days and the rains will be back soon enough. It has been a while since my last ride. We've had a lot of rain and that kept me from riding. Once the rain stopped, of course my mum came to town to visit so I couldn't get out riding. We did get to enjoy the Christmas light display at Van Dusen Gardens last Saturday night and then Capilano Suspension Bridge the following night. While both were great, the Capilano display had lots of Rivendell and Lothlorien vibes which I really liked. The barge remains stuck at Sunset Beach. Since it is starting to look permanent, I hear Junior Trudeau is now thinking about using it to house migrants. Hopefully they don't like yogurt since there doesn't seem to be any in the city at the moment. I've had to adapt and now eat chocolate chip cookies for breakfast. That's the real breakfast of champions. For this ride, I'm going to head south on Maple Street to the Arbutus Greenway. I intend to ride the Greenway south to 68th Avenue and then turn east toward Harrison Drive in the southeast corner of the city. I've often ridden down Harrison, but I've never ridden up the hill, so today I feel like taking that on. After that, it'll depend on how cold I am.
Always pay attention. That driver ignored the stop sign and almost hit me.
The sun was setting and my feet were frozen, so I decided to head back home. I figured to ride East 45th Avenue to Ontario and then north back to Science World. I made it back in time for an incredible sun setting over Falls Creek. That's a nice way to end a very cold ride. Next week will be even colder apparently, perhaps snow.